They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... How well do you know yourself? Justice very soon. 
It ain't over till it's over, you son of a bitch. Adjutant, are my troops ready yet? Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Just Marsara. You need to see this. Service one, launch the full scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all outer rim fronts. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Sweet Mother of Mercy. New exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blaze is in fact leading the swarm.
That's funny, convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander. Jim? What the hell's going on up there?
I've been cleaning up after you a lot lately. Leave it alone, Matt. Same dream? I said, leave it alone. What happened to Kerrigan wasn't your fault. Which part? Was she got left behind? Or was she murdered eight billion people? Same old bullshit. You ain't gonna listen. See what you're becoming? We are who we choose to be, Matt. When you figure it out, let us know. We're waiting on you. No one 
Romans ever escaped from New Folsom. But we broke it open in an afternoon. I can hardly believe we pulled it off. You guys did good. Now me and my specters will finish the job. We'll kill Minx and burn his dominion to the ground. Overthrowing Manx is just the start. This is about building a better tomorrow. Don't you see? We just released every scientist, philosopher, and free thinker that ever challenged Manx rule. That was our real victory today. You really that naive. Tomorrow there'll be a new Manx, and another one after that. Shining dream of the future is just an illusion. So if it's all so bleak, why are you here, Tosh? What do you get out of all this? Same thing as you, brother. I don't quit till Minsk is dead. Vengeance doesn't factor into this. Our revolution's about freedom. You'll see that better future, Matt. But it ain't for the likes of us. Revelations, a veritable firestorm of anti menx sentiment. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. Emperor, how do you respond to these allegations of genocide? Abusing aliens to... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I won't stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just gonna spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. It won us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. Transmission coming in. Tosh. Didn't take long for him to gloat. Patch him through. You gotta be for that man. Is that supposed to be me? You gotta regret crossing me. Scumbag, Tosh. I've spent my whole life fighting men like you. <laughs> you and me, we're just the same. 
we both do anything to get the job done. No, you don't get it at all. And now, you never will. What you gonna do, man? I'm six light years away. Not me. someone I used to know. Glad you're not after me. Not today, anyway. I'll see you around, Jeff. Don't you ever meet any normal girls? the rendezvous coordinates. No contacts. Looks like the Mobius ship hasn't arrived yet. That's strange. It ain't like them to be late. Sir, Dominion ships warping in. Manx's flagship is leading them. Sweet mother of mercy. Sir, their shields are still down. I don't like this. Matt, pull us alongside and prep docking tubes. Commander, this is not a smart move. You wanted your revolution, kid. Now you got it. sold us out. I joined this outfit to fight the Dominion, not work for him. Everybody simmer down. We trusted the commander before. We should trust him now. You can't trust that drunk. Jim Rayner's nothing but a spineless coward. You've been nothing but poison since you got on this crate. That right. Pathetic. Only person you can trust is yourself. The sooner you peons figure that Heard out. Heard about enough of this. You got them all fooled, don't you, Jimmy? But the first sign of trouble, you'll just duck and run. This is what you do, ain't it? Me, them, that 
pretty little girlfriend of yours. something you're gonna regret, Tigus. Got us working for the Dominion now, Commander. Taking us back to Char. It's like you're gone already. This ain't about the Dominion. Our war has always been about saving lives. If the Zerg wipe everyone out, it's all been for nothing. So I'm going back to Char. If you're with me, it's your choice. Just like it's always been. Now that's the commander I've been waiting on. Satisfied? <laughs> Let's get back to work, boys. I don't want to have to have this conversation again. And fix my damn jukebox. Anybody? Char, if hell ever existed, this is it. Oceans of fire, tectonic storms, and an atmosphere that'll burn a man alive. But we've planned for all of that. You can't plan for the Zerg, General. They ain't gonna fit into your nice, clean timetable. I've led five separate invasions against the Swarm. I held the line while you and your terrorist friends hid under a rock. We're all aware of your victories, General. I've invited Commander Raynor here to assist us with any unforeseen contingencies. Well, it sounds like you got it all figured out, Junior. I have far too much invested in this undertaking to see it fail. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valeri! I've just received a report you've taken half the fleet. Care to explain yourself, boy? Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. By this act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. I love your gumption, son, but you're in way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience to... He ain't alone, Arcturus. Reyna. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. And neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. <laughs> Everything I could have hoped for. You're playing a dangerous game here, kid. Prince Valerian. We have Zerg attack waves incoming. Already? Clear the bridge. I got a battle to win. I'll see you boys on the ground.
boys needed some help. We came as fast as we could. Ain't no time to be lying down on the job, Jimbo. Magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, the natives are getting restless. Thanks for the rescue, but I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. You might be a damn pirate, Raynor, but whatever happens, you saved my boys today. And I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. Good to see you on your feet, General. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I brought you boys a present. God, it does what we think it does. Damn straight. Bedding our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years, I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fueling, the one thing I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. Just worth fighting for.
Sarah. You reading all this? You have your orders, Mr. Findlay. Carry them out. Titus, what have you done? I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. She dies. I go free. We all got our choices to make. Damn shame. It's okay. I got gotcha. you.
Valerian's orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. The test protocol will begin in two minutes. Make the most of this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two, commencing. Warning, Dominion forces in sectors three. Four and six. Sarah. All personnel must evacuate. This is Nova. Begin your sweep. Find Kerrigan. Bravo team, acknowledge.
Jim. We couldn't get him out. Valerian. You left him behind. Stand down. Let him go, Kerrigan. Valerian is helping us. There is no us. IFF negative. Multiple hostiles inside the perimeter. Scramble attack response squads, three through nine. Hull breach, frame seven, deck three. Defensive maneuver, Delta four. Prep all stations for jump. No one is going anywhere until I see Jim. Shields at 30. Failure imminent. Multiple Dominion fleet, this is Hyperion. Cease fire. Crown Prince Valerian is aboard. My father will sacrifice any piece on the chessboard to take the queen. We have to jump now. We'll lead them away and circle back for Jim. Decompress Sarah! We need to work together! Do what you want. I'm going to find Jim. Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous. It's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I need you to hear me right now. Jim Rayner was captured in a daring raid yesterday. He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Emperor Mengsk had this to say. Proud Dominion citizens, at long last our nightmare is over. The lawless terrorist James Rayner is dead. With his death comes a new era of peace. The Protoss have retreated from our dominion, and the Zerg threat has been removed. Their swarm is shattered and leaderless. Soon, we will eradicate every last Zerg on Char. In short, we have won. Our peace and security is assured. Good night, my faithful subjects. Mengsk. Navigation online. Destination, Zerg space. Confirm. Confirmed.
Behold, Zeras, birthplace of the Zerg. Here the Zerg evolved, and here the Dark One altered them. Those left behind are the Primal Zerg. Get the wounded to those shuttles. We're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. Just see to those wounded. <laughs> uh, I'll get out another way. <laughs> with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> General, we're surrounded. There's no way out. You bitch. You're not even human anymore. You betrayed us all. <laughs> For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you right now? Oh, Thank you. 
face me, Narud. It's over. It is only beginning. Amon whispered of this from the stars. He told you of his return. He told you of ruin, extinction, the end of all things. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. Is that what you think? to get you out. What have you done? What I had to. Tell that to Phoenix. Tell it to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one who ever believed in me. Do you still? Believe in me?
I've been waiting for you. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. Did you think I'd keep an animal like you close to me without some kind of insurance policy? Clearly, you are my greatest failure. Now, at long last, you will die. Change of plans. You can never suffer enough for all the lives you ruined, Arcturus. I made you into a monster. Carrigan. You made us all into monsters. Thank you, Jim. For everything. My pleasure, darling. see my true enemy. He waits for me in the void, wielding powers I cannot imagine. I go to face him, having renounced everything. My humanity. My identity. The man I love. But I will not face this enemy alone. I am the Swarm. As it was foretold, Amon, the Dark God, lives again. If any hope remains for our galaxy, it lies in the hands of the Zelnaga. Only one piece of the prophecy remains unfulfilled. That on the world where Amon was reborn, the last light will be revealed. There is one being who knew that location. A creature known as Samir Duran. Or to the Terrans, as Leru. In this system hides a long-forgotten Mobius facility. I must hope his secrets still rest within its walls. Zeratul, it is a great honor. 
I am Praetor Talus, and I humbly request your aid. An unknown force has been abducting Templar from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to a Terran facility, but we are under attack by the Swarm. The Swarm? I'm on my way, Talus. May a doom hide you until I arrive. at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. 
Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld! And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The End War has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to Ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto O. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Koral. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. And Taro Artanis, brother.
Generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of a Doom. I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. what has transpired, Carax, and we will free the Templar.
sins of our kind suffer. Separated from the glory of the Kala. This warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. None of them ever think it'll end like this. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not?
I am not your enemy. I have come seeking the Zelnaga. facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction impudence back you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die He could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. 
If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day, Lama. Set a course for ire. My brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end, and with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity.
the Dark One has been banished back into the Void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors, rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars. We have waited long enough within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void, within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill. 
fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zelnaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah. You don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, we'll... Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed, there's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. about ready to get out of here, cowboy. Duggan wants me to pose nude? He's gonna have to pay me double. <laughs> 